Hello, welcome back to my channel. I've got today a little micro journal that I have made. It is absolutely titchy tiny, it's really really sweet and it's actually a landscape rather than the usual portrait orientation. I really like that. It is a hardcover, um, really really sweet. Uh, the closure for this, I decided to make a very simple ribbon closure which I've glued a butterfly on. The theme of this uh, journal is loosely butterflies really um, but I just thought that made a really nice little closure. I love this paper, this printable, I can't remember where I've had this from. It's a three hole pamphlet stitch and down the um, spine of it I have put this lace just to reinforce it. It's actually made from packaging from something that one of my candles came in. You know the packaging around it that's um, to keep it safe in the box. Um, so and it made just the most perfect size really. So going in, this is the front cover, uh, the inside cover rather, there's a digi kit there. Um, I've kept this really quite pretty and definitely butterfly themed. I've got a Tim Holtz mini clip there with a, a butterflies on. Popped a little butterfly there. This is a journal very much that you can decorate further or journal in plenty to write in. This was, I think it was a freebie, it was definitely from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah and just left that on some nice card, slotted it in there, felt the blue went nice with that. A piece of digi kit and I just popped a little sticker on there, There's some little numbers there, coffee dyed paper. This was an embossing folder I've got and I decided I would rip this little strip out that had the beautiful butterfly on. Now I did only glue it at each end, I also meant to... Um, I know I'd forget, I'll use this. Um, I did only glue it each end so that if you wanted it as a tuck spot, you wouldn't put that in there, it's too long. But if you wanted like, you know, if you had a little piece of paper, you could tuck something in there. If you don't want to, you don't have to because it's just quite a pretty little decoration as it as it is. I just really like that. Um, some coffee dyed squared old maths paper, um, popped a sticker on there. This is the centre of the journal. I have done this a couple of times before. I really love this idea. Um, I don't. I haven't seen anyone else do it. I'm not claiming it as my own, but I did come up with it. You know, I didn't see it anywhere. And um, pop in a, a butterfly. Obviously, making sure it's held in with the three hole pamphlet stitch. But then, obviously, its wings are left to be free, and I really love that. Um, that is a little pocket there. Again, um, you can pop something in there. A little tab on there, just if that opens out. So that's what I mean. It's micro, but plenty to journal in. Going over the page, I did make this little flip up out of a little digi kit. Uh, this was a freebie from Artie Mays. This, I can't remember, but I just love that page. I love the neutrals of it, the way it's all collaged, and there's that beautiful butterfly. The pocket of here, just a random number 11, and in there I've tucked this um, printable. I've just folded it in half. Um, I, don't, I think it would go that way. I don't think it really matters with the butterflies, does it? Um, but I really like that. Just again, so much to journaling, but you can, you know, hide it away. I can't remember how I had that. I think I wanted it like that. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was it, like that, so you could see the butterflies, but I didn't want it poking out the top. Um, did another flip here, this beautiful paper I've got. I love this paper. Um, that just flips out so you can write on here. You could obviously write around there if you wanted or stick another piece of paper on there if you want and write. Lots to write on there on the lined. And then there's the back. I thought you could either sign that as your own book or I don't know, what, or you might want to call it something if you were writing about something in particular. And then that's the back cover. Again, you can write all over that if you wanted to or leave it as it is or decorate further. But I really enjoyed this little landscape mini mini journal. So that is all I've got for you today. I'm just going to try and get this back on without faffing about too much. There we go. And that's all I've got for today. So thank you for stopping by. Bye bye.